All right, coming up next, it's a women's bantamweight matchup between Chris Cyborg and Valentina Shevchenko. Well, she's one of the best in the women's game now and historically, Valentina Shevchenko. She's already got a UFC flyweight championship to her credit, and she will look to bolster her legacy yet again here tonight. Not only is she one of the best, she's one of the nastiest. Who has a gun tattoo on the side of their <laughs> hip? And she goes out there and she's got that thing loaded. That gun to me symbolizes the right hand and the right kick of Valentina Shevchenko. She's the first, she's a great counter striker. She sets traps beautifully, and if you overextend or you attack too quickly, she will finish you on the feet, and she can also finish you on the ground. Just a phenomenal mixed martial artist is Valentina Shevchenko. And if she gets a first round knockout tonight, DC has agreed to get that gun tattooed on his message. It won't that? show, it won't show on the fact. <laughs> <laughs> All right, here's one of the best to ever do it. Chris Cyborg, the former UFC women's featherweight champion, and her focus is entirely on getting that belt back. Tonight figures to be another step in that direction. I've never seen anyone more dominant, regardless of men, women. Chris Cyborg had an ability to make people just quit. The power, the aggressiveness, the ability to get in your face, make you work and make you uncomfortable is second to none. She is such a dominant physical presence that most people are beaten before they even step in the octagon. She finally stepped into the octagon for the first time in 2016, won five consecutive fights, including the world title before running into Amanda Nunes. Chris Cyborg, though, back tonight, and a picture of focus in advance of this one. And here is tonight's tale of the tape. Both fighters are 32, with some differences in height and a similar reach. Here once more, Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC at the weight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, a Muay Thai fighter holding a professional record of 23 wins, four losses. She stands five feet, five inches tall, weighing in at 135 pounds. Fighting out of Ishkek, Kyrgyzstan, Valentina Bullet Shevchenko. And now introducing her opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This woman is a Muay Thai fighter holding a professional record of 22 wins, two losses, and one no contest. She stands five feet eight inches tall, weighing in at 135 pounds. Fighting out of Huntington Beach, California, USA, Chris Cyborg. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Dan Bergliata. Dan Mergliata. You ready? strikers in the women's game today and the expectations are. I can see a lot of takedown attempts on either side. No takedown attempts from either of these young women. They both want to get to the center of the octagon and start to just let the hands and the kicks fly. This is the type of matchup that we always look forward to. I'm not sure her striking has ever looked better, DC, finding the range with relative ease here tonight. She's doing a great job of timing everything. She is seeing everything out there. Nice punch by Cyborg. Big leg kick lands. Oh, massive kick. Didn't see that one coming. Game of inches right there, boy. Wow. It was a good night if that landed. Look at the angle of that nice body kick. Nice entry into the finish directly. to the stand-up now, both fighters upright. Beautiful punch. Oh, nice combination there by Cyborg. Right at the elbow, fight the flame. Well, she lands the strike there, but it is one and done. Dude, she is absolutely cooked right now. Yeah, she's exhausted, J.A. She doesn't have the energy to really throw anything that has any firepower on it. She's done all that she can do 
early in the fight. Oh, the right hand is there for her. Big leg kick land. Watch the knees and the elbow come now. Visibly limping here. Taken down by Shevchenko. Oh, nice job working hard, posting, and getting back up. Big punch from the clinch. Four strikes in the head. That knee might have landed there. Oh, nice job by her there to land yet another takedown. I got to think at Gilroy High School Wrestling Practice oh. next week, they're going to be watching this film. I mean, we will show it. I will pull out the projector, put it up on the wall, and say this is how you secure takedowns in a big environment. The state tournament has nothing on what this young lady's going through. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active gets to her spot, the tie clinch. And then she starts to let the knees fly. Good punch land. That knee might have landed there. Another nice knee there. Horn sounds for the end of round one. So a big round for her there as she makes her way back to the stool. There was the knockdown there in the middle of the round, DC. Talk us through it. She did a great job of really finding her spot, really recognizing an opportunity, really getting to exactly where she needed to be to finish the fight. But don't think that this young lady will rush. She'll take her time, hopefully get there again to end the night. You ready? You ready? Let's go, first time. There's no give on that leg kick. Nice strike. Oh, she's really starting to put together some significant body shots here, attacking both sides now. Well, she's so confident in her defense and her ability to block shots, and, and now you see what? You see all she learned from her background in boxing that allows her to be so effective professionally. Oh, spinning back fist for her out of nowhere. Shevchenko's lower jaw now starting to show signs of swelling. Right punches there. Oh, with authority, the body. Oh, nice jab. Beautiful kicks. Shevchenko gets hit by that kick to the midsection. You gotta do better defensively. Takedown defense holds up. And there comes the separation now. Well, she was a little bit hesitant in round one, but she has certainly picked up the pace here in this second round. It took her a while to find her range. She's in a strong striking rhythm now. Continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. Punch over the top. Shevchenko. She is such a diverse striker that that big strike landed, and it looks like she's going to finish this fight. Oh, you can feel the breeze there, swinging a miss by Saibu. Back to her feet here, but man, is she hurt. Oh, nice strike there to the body. She has worked the midsection to great effect here in this round. Real sneaky body kick. Nice loose punch. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. Plus right hand is true. Well, she's been good tonight, but she missed with that one. Oh, oh, and she did not miss there. This could be the end, DC. I mean, she hurt her so bad with that big head kick. I don't know how she's standing. 
All right, so her ground control is outstanding. Half guard is when she's at her most dangerous. Yes, yeah, she's at her most dangerous when she has a half guard because she's so brutal with the ground and pound. She likes to go after fighters and really wear on them, force them to make decisions to get their backs so that she can chase her submissions or they're gonna lay on their back and just get beaten up from the top from that beautiful half guard position. All right, there's the end of the round. The truck's gonna run back that knockdown for us, DC, and thought we might have gotten a fight finished there. Yeah, we thought it was over. I mean, I was over here yelling, it's done. I thought the night was done, but instead, we go forward. That shows how tough she is. Let's see if her opponent can find a shot, though, that will end the night this time. for quite some time. What a moment for this fighter here tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Bergliani has called a stop to this contest at two minutes, 24 seconds of round number three. Declaring the winner by no! 